for many of you guys that follow my channel, you know that I don't run with a license plate on the front of my car. And as of three days ago, it's gonna change. So I got pulled over three days ago because I was driving a little bit above the speed limit uh, and I saw a cop. So I slowed down, but I slowed down too much where the cop had enough time to check out my car as I drove by and he realized it was too clean on the front end so there must be something wrong. Uh, he pulled me over. I didn't have my ownership or my insurance. I just had my license. Um, my throttle was relearning as I told you guys in my last video. So the car was kind of revving itself a little bit and he was complaining that my exhaust was obnoxious and I really had no chance to fight with him. I kind of just had to take the ticket and deal with it because he could have gave me four tickets but he only gave me one. Uh, so I zip tied the plate to the front of my car for the last few days but today this arrived. Now this is no big name Perrin or Grim Speed. This is just the Duel? Duel? It's Duel. Um, and it was like 40 bucks on Amazon and I bought this one because I don't feel the need to spend that much money on something that's going to relocate my plate and I don't even know how long I'm going to keep it on there. It's just kind of to see if I like it to prove to the court that I bought something that replaces it so I do have a license plate on the front and to kind of move on with this whole thing. So for now I'm going to be running it but I don't know how long I'm going to keep it for. Um, but it does seem like it might be a quality piece. I have never unboxed a license plate bracket before so I have no idea what to expect. And little bits. And this is seemingly the plate portion. So a lot of people in the reviews said this was flimsy. To me, like it doesn't bend at all. It feels really hard. This feels like a quality piece of metal. It's very lightweight. Um, everything seems to line up well, fit well, work well. So lots of the reviews were like, oh, this is cheap, you shouldn't buy it, you should buy the one that's $90, but I don't really see the point in spending that much money. This one looks more versatile, looks like you can adjust it anywhere you want, whereas the other ones just have an angle or a flat face. Um, and I don't know, I, I thought this was a good buy. So we're gonna test fit it on the car and see how it works. Step one. Step two. Damn, there's a lot of threads on here. This high is too high. This low is too low. I think we're going to go with right there. What I might do, one day when I have some time, I might cut a hole through the center of this and put it on there so that it just kind of goes straight through this and looks a little bit better. So, finished product. That hole needs to get fixed and that shiny metal, I will paint black one day. But I mean, it looks all right, it does its job. I personally hate the plates on the front of the car, but I mean, I just don't like the way it looks, so I'm probably not the best person to ask about that. I don't know if they can look good or bad. Um, I mean, it did drop really well. It's really strong. It went in there really tight. All the bolts sealed up really nice. It was super easy. That took like three minutes aside from trying to find out how these locking nuts work. I need to cut a hole through the middle of this so it doesn't look so cheap. I don't feel the need to spend a hundred and something dollars on license plate relocators because they don't need to do very much. They just need to work and this one works. And I'll give you guys like a little review after I've had it on there for a while just to make sure that it still works and nothing bad happened to it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. It's just a license plate relocator. It can't be anything too fancy. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.